Hi everyone, it's Tuesday afternoon, 18th of June, so you've just done your organic paper two this morning. I really hope it went okay for you. And I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that's been in touch to tell me what was on the paper. Without your help, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm going to do now, so thanks for that. As always, I must stress that these are predictions. I've got no idea what's going to be on uh, paper three on Friday, so please don't base your revision purely on the list that I'm going to give you in a minute. And just because I've been lucky with the first two papers doesn't mean I will be with paper three. So the logic with these predictions is very simple. If it was on paper one and two, it's less likely to be on paper three. That's not always the case, but it tends to be the case. Right, here's what I'm thinking for paper three on Friday. So I'll break it up into physical and inorganic and organic. So we'll start with physical and inorganic, atomic structure and isotopes, ideal gas calculation, hydrated salts, qualitative analysis. So that's the planning of a sequence of tests for your inorganic ions. And don't forget about the uh, transition element ions in there as well. For rates, I'm thinking that the Arrhenius equation might be worth a shout. And finally, enthalpy change of solution. So maybe planning a sort of calorimetry style experiment to determine the enthalpy change of solution of something. So moving on to the organic topics now. So alkanes haven't really featured yet. So possibly radical substitution and maybe some ozone depletion uh, linking in with the sort of chlorine radical stuff, or maybe the uh, NO radical instead. Qualitative analysis of organic functional groups hasn't really been on. So again, a bit like the, um, the inorganic and physical, planning the sequence of tests to sort of um, identify your organic compounds from each other. Amines, amino acids and chirality. Carboxylic acids and their derivatives, so your acyl chloride, your acid anhydrides, your esters. Chromatography, so either gas chromatography or the layer chromatography or both. And finally, there's got to be an unfamiliar mechanism on paper three as well. Just before I finish, just a reminder of the kind of stuff I've got out there that you could use to help. So I've got my teaching videos. I've got my quick revision videos, so they're the really short, snappy videos, been really, really popular in the run-up to papers one and two, so they're just for you to remind yourself of the essentials. I've got my exam question walkthrough videos by topic, so I've been focusing on those this year as sort of my main project for the channel, so there's over 400 of those. They've been very, very popular, but more specifically for paper three, I've got walkthroughs of every single paper three question since the start of this uh, version of the exam. So uh, definitely I would recommend checking those out if you haven't already. There's my practical skills playlist and there's my top tips and reminders video that I made specifically for this year's paper three. Put that out a couple of weeks ago I think now and um, but it is a bit long so you might want to play that on double time uh, just to speed it up a bit. And finally, there's my Quizlet stuff, um, great for definitions, transition element colours, organic reactions, all that sort of mind-numbing stuff. And you can see there that's all available via my Google site, which I'll put the link to in the description of this video. Almost done now. All that's left to say is a huge good luck for June the 21st. I'm sure you'll smash it and have a great summer. And if you're up for it, please let me know how you get on on results day. No worries if not. Right, that's it. Bye.